that you have to solve a magnitude or beads and mostly you can encounter it in civil service examination, Upkart or Napalcom exam. Well today, tonight pala, I will going to teach you how to get how to get a number of beads. Beads or bead, it's fine. Or magnitude. Mostly, you can encounter this question in Civil Service Examination, UPCAT, NAPOLCOM, and I think also in uh, Teacher's License Licensure Examination. But ito, I'm sure, na lumabas ito siya sa Civil Service Exam last 2019, last year. Yung tanong is consider Z equals X minus Y where x, y, and z are all in sign negative. This one, it's negative magnitude form. x and y are each represented in, in bits, dito, in, letter n, to avoid overflow. The representation of z would require a minimum of how many bits yung tinatanaw sa atin. Bits yung kailangan nating hanapin. So, the following choices are, sa A, it's in bits, sa B, N negative 1 bits, sa C naman, it's N positive 1 bits, sa D, N positive 2 bits. Ano yung sagot ninyo chaan? So, the correct answer is letter Letter what? Letter C. Bakit siya letter C? So, here's the solution how we got the letter C. Because we need to avoid the overflow. Overflow can occur when two sign numbers are added. Pag two sign numbers daw are added, then ang overflow, mag siya. So, we need to also use negative sign. So, let n, kasi nga n kanina, let n equals 4 x ano yung value ng, sex, ng x sa tingin ninyo? It's positive 6 and y ano yung value ng y kailangan po natin ng maghanap ng negative so ang value ng y is six also six kailangan natin sundin yung x and kailangan po natin gumamit ng negative sign 5 so, ano yung sagot dito? so, y equals 6 minus negative 5 this will become ano yung sagot nyo? This will become 11. Bakit siya 11? 2 negative sign. Itong 2 negative sign. It will become positive. And it will become 11. Then, result Z. Result Z. Kasi kailangan din natin representation of Z. So, yung result Z eleven needs one bit for sign, one bit for sign, and four bit for magnitude. And 4 bit for magnitude. Kasi kailangan natin hanapin yung 
be it n magnitude dito. So therefore, therefore, so yung tanong dito is, we need to avoid the overflow. And that representation of letter Z would require mailang bits. Yung letter Z na bits yung hinahanap natin. So dito, result Z, 11 needs 1 but for sign, 1 bit pala, 1 bit for sign, and 4 bit for magnitude. Bakit 4? Kasi nga ginamit na natin kanina, let n equals 4. So, therefore, paano natin may iwasan yung overflow? To avoid overflow, to avoid a overflow, to our answer in this question, a minimum of bit requires of magano nga ba? Ano yung n? Plus 1 bits. So, yung correct answer is let us see. n plus 1 bits. Ito ulit. Ito yung question. Consider z equals x minus y. Where x, y, and z are all in sign negative. Kita nyo dito. Oh. It's negative. Ito siya. Magnitude form. x and y are each represented in in bits. In n bits. Rather n. To avoid overflow. The representation of z will require a yung letter Z na, na representation yung hinahanap natin. So, yung sagot natin is n plus 1 bits. Kasi bakit nga? Dito yung solution natin. Let n equals 4. Basta pag bits 4. Then x plus 6. Why? 6. Kailangan natin maghanap ng negative. Kasi nga yung magnitude dito kanina is sine negative magnitude form. So, 6, negative, minus 5, equals 11. Bakit siya naging 11? Negative times negative equals positive. So, result Z, 11 needs 1 bit for sign and 4 bit for magnitude. There, to avoid the overflow of a, menu, of a minimum of bit, we need requires of n plus 1 bits. Basta tandaan lang, pag bits yung hinahanap, Ayan na agad yung solution. Let n equals 4 agad. Kasi wala silang binigay na number, given number eh. So, kailangan mo maghanap ng given number. Pero, pag wala talaga binibigay ng given number, mostly 4 agad yung nilalagay. 